Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Intrinsic Archives. My name is Verlaine, but you can call me V. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. In this channel, we do beauty discussions and lots of commentary. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, go ahead and like and comment down below. If you're feeling the vibe, go ahead and subscribe. Show your girl some love and hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to follow me on my social media, Coffee Bean V. So today we are going to be discussing the shade room, all the ins and the outs and the cons and the toxic tendencies the shade room is giving me. Now I've had this video planned for a little bit of time, for a little while now. Um, there are just some things about the shade room and actually quite a few social media outlets, black media outlets that I have a couple issues with and I felt like this would be the perfect time to bring, to bring it up now that everything has kicked off. So go ahead and get ready, sit down, and let's get started. So the shade room, if you do not know what it is, Shade Room is one of the biggest tea blogs on Instagram with a whopping 20 million followers who are predominantly black. Now, in the past year, Shade Room has been caught in their own controversies. A lot of celebrities have come out and said that the Shade Room is the devil. Motherfuckers wanna post on their story like, yeah, we do post positive shit about you. Every shit that you posted on your story about me and my nigga, this fake positive shit that y'all claim y'all posted about me was a year ago. Is they don't rock with the shade room. Shade room is not something they want to invest in. Like, so do you ever get mad when we, because we, you've been on the shade room plenty of times. Like, do you ever, oh, yeah, ever yeah, get mad yeah, when we, I've been up there a few times, you know, I've been up there. It's been hard to say how I feel without people attacking me. Mm. It happens on the shade room. It yeah. happens when I'm posted there. Um, shade room is not something they rock with. They love it at a distance. Well, how come you don't mess with the shade room, girl? You know why? Because I really actually had a point where I love the shade room. And the funny part about it is, you know, it's mighty like family and you love them, but you got to love them from a distance. Like <laughs> I love the shade room from a distance. And I really feel like as hard as I work, they only post really like the negative stuff. Now, the Shade Room's main job is to talk about, promote, and dissect black entertainment and gossip, whether it's inspirational quotes, memes, celebrity news, gossip, and politics. That is the job of the Shade Room, to present it to us while we, individuals in the comment section, can go ham. Now, let me tell you, Shade Room can be so entertaining and very addictive. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I still follow the Shade Room. I still peep in every now and then, but are there just some things that I've noticed about the Shade Room that I cannot necessarily get behind, and I would like to discuss that here on my channel today. Now, a celebrity can post something on the Shade Room, and I'm telling you right now, before it has even posted, before it's giving you the, the notification that everything has uploaded, Shade Room got it already uploaded on their page and everyone's already talking about it. And that's kind of like the ongoing gag about the Shade Room that it, she is quick. She posts with the quickness, no matter what the news is. It's basically, Shade Room is basically Instagram's TMZ. Now, like I said before, I'm not gonna lie, the comment section has me rolling sometimes. I feel like there are just some undiscovered comedians in this comment section, but let's get started. Like I said before, Shade Room is predominantly a tea channel. So if there's any drama, they will sniff it out and put it on blast, whether it's right, whether it's wrong, whether it's a death, someone's secret, or just personal information about someone's life, Shade Room's gonna post it and we are going to see it. Now, this is where my issue begin. I am a core believer that not everything needs to be posted onto the internet, and I'm also a believer that not everything needs to be reposted. And when it comes to the shade room and the fact that they take their time and post every little thing to a huge audience, it gives a breeding ground for ignorant comments and bullying. Now, for, for example, we can talk about Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace. I honestly believe that most of the bullying and the cyberbullying he had faced was low-key because of the shade room when he, they had reposted a video of him on a live. A lot of people in the comments section could not keep their mouth shut. They just decided they wanted to go ham, call him a crackhead, um, questioning his weight. There were a couple of people that were definitely concerned, but predominantly the comment section was being disrespectful towards him. And when he had finally passed, rest in peace, 
people finally come to realize like hey you never know what's what's happening behind closed doors you never know what's what struggles a person may be facing another example of the shade room being out of pocket with what they're posting is posting children now i have an issue with the shade room posting children newborns at that and keeping the comment section open i don't understand what it is about grown ass adults who will take their time and be sorry enough to go on someone's social media or go on the shade room and call a child ugly a newborn ugly or better yet say oh that's not his baby or that's not his baby he needs to get a paternity test or whatever the case is first and foremost this is a child not an adult second i understand that when you post something on social media it has the opportunity to be scrutinized but not a child a child cannot defend themselves a child is innocent me when adults grown-ass adults take the time and bash someone else's child that doesn't make any sense to me and i honestly cannot stand behind that now another issue i have with the shade room is the toxic body image mindset that they perpetuate to the black community now i'm not gonna sit here and point the fingers and say shade room is the only one responsible because like i said in my previous video instagram bodies there are a lot of websites there are a lot of instagram pages boutiques lots of pages are doing the same thing but today i'm specifically talking about the shade room so today we gonna be coming for them they constantly have fashion nova on repeat now i have nothing against fashion nova everyone buys clothes from fashion nova i get it i understand it it's an aesthetic but when you have a young impressionable audience because let's be honest people on the shade room isn't always grown we have so much kids in which they have shade room teens as well which is another social media platform run by shade room for the younger audience but when our community is already facing a lot of issues in regards to the glorification of plastic bodies or having a particular body shape that is represented to be this is a standard black girl shape when that isn't always the case i take issue with that because when it comes to natural bodies when it comes to women who have an average shape if they are ever posted on social media i promise you look in the comment section people are saying she's bad built they will talk about her body they will talk about her curves they will talk about everything under the sun but let a girl who has plastic surgery done she's shaped like a coca-cola bottle or she has a naturally curvy body uh god has blessed her with those curves and you see people constantly praising her and lifting her up especially the kardashian clan i cannot stand them yet they stay on shade rooms payroll when we already have these issues in regards to body image when we we talk about fat phobia and we talk about all these different things and then we have one of the biggest platforms for black entertainment constantly constantly reposting the same body types i have an issue with that ray janae carter the daughter of little wayne this is a perfect example of this i'm sure everyone knows that she's recently gotten plastic surgery done to her body now and we i'm pretty sure everyone else also knows that every time shade room posted this girl everyone in the comment section had something to say everyone was bashing her about her curves about her body about her butt about her breast to the point where she's gone on social media she's gone on instagram live and had to defend herself but the second she gets a little work done the second she finally pays to get her curves corrected the way society would like them to be corrected all of a sudden everyone's cheering her on all of a sudden people are praising her saying she's snatch this is toxic in of itself and that cannot continue i just feel like it's damaging not only young women i feel like it's damaging grown women as well and i feel like it's putting some type of image in men's head that this is what a woman's shape should be and it's not the case not everyone is naturally shaped like that and not everyone is gonna look like that and the fat phobianess on the shade room is also apparent every time they post lizzo for example somebody in the comment section got to be talking about her body these comments are so out of pocket in real life no one would ever 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 go up to someone who is a little bit heavier set and say you need to lose weight you're too fat you can't wear that because you're that weight that's absolutely unacceptable i don't understand what it is about social media actually i do understand what it is when you're behind the screen you don't have to look at the person's face for some reason when it comes to celebrities people think that they are not humans too and they feel no emotions that they can just take 
all this bullying and all the cyber bullying and this criticism and I get it that criticism is given but when you're talking about a person's face a person's body a person's looks and constantly bashing them or making jokes about their body it's disrespectful and they feel it and we've seen it we've seen these celebrities talk about how they feel like they're under a microscope especially on the shade room where they feel like everything they do is criticized under the t now i get it it's a black entertainment blog its job is to post the news and we as the consumers we talk about what we talk about we make the jokes and things of that nature i get it and i understand it but sometimes the comment section could be so out of pocket it, it just it just i'm baffled i sit back and wonder i'm like dang like i, c- I couldn't even imagine i couldn't imagine <laughs> Now, I understand the Shade Room's job is to post the news or post the tea. And I get it. We love the tea. I understand it's a profitable business. All these different uh, social media outlets and entertainment outlets like, like the Shade Room, Hollywood Unlocked, Breakfast Club, all these different entertainment outlets, their job is to talk about the tea, talk about what's relevant, talk about what's hot. But here's my thing. We are just inviting people to come in with their ignorance as comments and spread false narratives. They are laughing at us, not with us. They are laughing at us at the fact that we are constantly ripping each other apart. Negative news, baby mama drama, uh, transphobia, colorist news. This should not be the representation of the black community. Y'all tear each other apart, make jokes about certain issues or certain actions y'all reinforcing negative stereotypes about the black community but when other blogs or other entertainment outlets talk about these same issues and make certain comments about us now y'all want to get mad that's not how that works we have to be uplifting each other i get it bad news happens i get it drama's gonna break out i understand that but if that's the constant representation someone outside in looking at it for example, go on Shade Room right now and look at the first three posts. I promise you something is going to be it's going to be about someone beefing or baby mama culture or something in regards to uh, body image in regards to maybe a Fashion Nova post or someone talking negatively about someone else's body. I promise you three posts. Just look at three random posts and that's what you're going to find. This cannot be the only representation of the black community. We have so much more to offer and I get it. It could be funny at times. I really do. Some I love our culture. I really do. Our culture is something that needs to be celebrated. Our culture needs to be viewed. Our culture needs to be magnified in many ways. Listen, I'm not telling you to deep platform shade room. I'm not telling you to just I'm I'm all I'm asking is for you to open your eyes a little bit and take a look just 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 open your eyes and take a look and before you write a nasty comment whether it's on the shade room or here on my channel just open your mind and really think about it do you want this to be the representation of the black do you want this news or do you want this post to represent us as a whole that's it that's all i'm asking So hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys were able to understand and see my points. Like I said before, I'm not going on a hating train. I'm not going on a bashing train. There's just certain things I've noticed, especially about the Shade Room and other black entertainment outlets that I'm just not, I I just can't get behind. Um, But tell me what you guys think down below. Please, please, please. I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me and subscribing. I see a lot of engagement. I thank you guys so much for being part of the Archive family. I promise I will be much more consistent. I have brand new videos, brand new content coming out. So please go ahead and like, go ahead and comment. Tell me your thoughts down below. Please be be generous in the comment section. Um, And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.